Working with matrices is so important that many software and computer systems have, uh, software and calculator systems have built in the ability to work with matrices, uh, including things like calculating determinants and inverses. So let's start by trying to find the inverse of this 2x2 two two matrix A, and we'll do it using a graphing calculator. So to start with, I need to enter the matrix. So to do that, I need to enter the uh, start by using the matrix feature, which is the second feature on this button uh, that is in the left column, fourth row down. So second matrix. I'm going to edit the matrix. I want to edit the contents. Um, so I go over to the edit menu. And let's work with the first matrix, the one called A. So since that's already highlighted, I can hit enter. Now the matrix we're going to use should be a two by two matrix, two rows, two columns. So I'll type two, enter, two, enter. That tells the calculator I want a two by two matrix. And now I have to just type in the values I want. Now we can see there are already values there, but that's because there was already a matrix in the, comp in the calculator's memory. And I'm just gonna write over top of what it was remembering. So the first entry should be an eight, hit enter. The second entry should be a 3, hit enter. The next entry should be a 5, enter, and a 2, enter. And I've now updated the matrix A, so it has exactly the entries I want. I can quit from the screen now with second quit. And to find the inverse, that's a calculation performed on a matrix. So I'll go to the second matrix menu, and I want to do math on this matrix. So I go over to math and I scroll down until I see the feature I want and uh, I don't see it. Hmm. We were expecting to see inverse there and there's nothing that matches that. Well, so th this is one thing you're going to have to remember. If you actually want to calculate the inverse of a matrix, then there's a special button to use. And it's actually the same button we were using to get the matrix menu except you don't hit second first. So this X with it looks like an exponent negative one, that's the notation we use for an inverse. And so that's actually what we're going to use, but we have to tell it what matrix to perform that operation on first. So let's go back to the names menu. because so I want to use the name of the matrix we've just entered. So that's the matrix A. Select that and then hit this inverse button and right there in the calculator, you can see the notation for the matrix A and what looks like an exponent of negative one. That's our notation for A inverse. So I've written what I wanted to calculate. Let's just work it out. Hit enter and we get the answer. Two, negative three, negative five, eight. That's it. That's exactly what we would get calculating this another way by hand. Let's look at another example. Uh, let's find the inverse of this three by three matrix. One, zero, one, zero, two, one, zero, zero, two. So it's second matrix and we'll edit the matrix. This time let's edit the matrix B. B is the second one on the list. So to get there quickly, I can just hit the number two. And I want a three by three matrix. And then I'll enter the numbers one, zero, one, zero, two, one, zero, zero, two. I've entered the matrix, now I can quit out of that. And remember, I want to now, to get the inverse, I want to get the name of the matrix, which is B, so I can hit the number two to access B, or I can highlight it and hit enter. That inserts the name of the matrix I want, and then hit the inverse key, and enter, and there we go. This is the inverse of the matrix we started with. 1, 0, negative 0 0.5, 0, 0.5, negative 0.25, 0, 0, 0.5. One more example. Uh, let's find the determinant this time. Same matrix we just used, but not inverse. This time we're asked to find the determinant. So the determinant is an operation applied to a matrix, and this time it is on that math menu. And it's the first option on the math menu from the matrix main menu. 
So DET is determinant, and then we tell it to take the determinant of the matrix B, so we want to enter the name of the matrix, hit math matrix, and the name of the matrix B, close the parentheses there, hit enter, and we can see the determinant of this matrix is 